Okay, so I'm going to give you an example of how to use this Figma manometer to measure your blood pressure. So I'll start by putting this on my arm. Okay, and here we have a little instructions, right? Left arm, put this right on the brachial artery. So my brachial artery is right there. Okay, then I'm going to actually need a stethoscope. So we'll get my stethoscope right in there as well, okay, so that I can hear this. Now what I'm going to do is I'll close off this bulb here. I'm going to pump up this until it's around, you know, 180 to 200 pounds pressure. And once I have that, that basically occludes my artery, so nothing's getting through. And then I'm going to slowly let this out Okay, until I can hear that beat. And I hear it right there. There it is. I can feel that, hear that beat going. And I keep going down, down, down. And it keeps going down until I can no longer hear that beat. Okay, and I just let it out. And that's how I take my blood pressure. All right, so now I'm going to take my blood pressure at rest, and you can basically estimate this. This will be the first data point you're going to add. So I'm pumping up the pressure cuff here, and then I'm going to slowly let it out. Okay, and I'll tell you when I hear the beats, and not yet, and not yet, and there. It's beating, so we have our first beat. And it stopped right there. Okay, so I want you to record those values. That is blood pressure at rest. Okay, now I'm going to go actually exercise for two minutes. And we'll see, um, and we'll do it again after two minutes of exercise. Okay, so I just exercise for two minutes. I'm going to put this on, close this off, and we'll bring this up to 200. Okay, I'll let this out slowly. And right there. And there it stops. Okay, so my heart rate while resting was about 68. And my heart rate after exercise was 124. And you can read the blood pressure before and after.